Cora Jakes Coleman comes from a prestigious family that in no way overshadows her own gifts and talents. Cora serves as the Executive Director of Destiny House Children's Ministry at the Potter's House of Dallas, where she's able to impact the lives of children and teach them the importance of Christ. She's not only a spiritual mother, she's also a mother to Amari and Jason, as well as a loving wife to Brandon. Her Fertility Faith blog has helped change lives. Her writing has encouraged women and families that are suffering from infertility. I am speaking fertility faith and speaking life into the infertile being so that we can begin to produce our dreams and produce our promises no matter what our fear is. Cora is a dynamic, down-to-earth preacher who captures God's heart with her prayers and inspires her audience to faith it with her pen, her prayer, and her platform. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cora Jakes Coleman. Good morning, good morning. I send my good morning love to you and you and you, wherever you may be. I send message Monday love to you. I do hope you decided to start your Monday off with me because I just started because I decided to start my Monday off with you. And remember, we are turning our Mondays into message Mondays not messy Mondays. Come on, somebody. So, again, we're going to start with the hot topic. And my hot topic today is grounded in fertility. And so I wanted to talk about that because I feel like a lot of times we talk about being grounded in family and my father's talking about being grounded in relationships and grounded in grace and et cetera. But oftentimes we need to talk about the fertility of our ground, what we are making fertile, what does our fruit look like, what are we producing, and is it something that we ourselves would be proud of? Are you proud of what your ground looks like? Because it doesn't matter for you to be grounded if you're not proud of what you are actually producing, if you're not proud of what your harvest looks like. And so when we talk about fertile or being infertile, meaning the inability to produce, the fertile part means that you are able to produce. And so if you are grounded in fertility, then you know that being fertile means that you produce good fruit. And so you want to make sure that you are putting yourself in a position to know that you are being fruitful and that your fruit can also be multiplied and that it can be used and given for other people. My wisdoms and my messages that I give to you mean nothing if you're not able to take them, um, obtain them, apply them, and then give them to people around you and be able to share those different wisdoms and knowledges. And so that is is my my hot topic is talking about really just the fruit of your ground and the harvest of your ground if you're not happy with what you're harvesting then you may need to sow more if you're not happy with your fruit then you may need to reevaluate where you're producing from sometimes we can be meaning well and meaning to produce well but we're just in the wrong environment to produce and so we have to shift our environment we have to shift where we have decided to be grounded and so understanding where your ground is understanding what you look like as a possessor of that ground and then really operating as such which brings me to my message monday and my message for you today is look at your fruit before you look at your followers. And what does that mean? When I started my Facebook page and I released my prayers on Facebook, like overnight it was over 18,000 viewers and it was just really going great, but my followers and my likes were still like in the 1500s, they weren't like really growing. And I remember like thinking to myself, over 18,000 people have watched your video, like what's the hard part about just clicking like? Like why can't I get these 18,000 people to like my page, to like my page? And the Lord told me, don't look at the followers, look at the reach. 
And so oftentimes we can be so consumed by who is following us, who is liking us, that we don't even concentrate on the number of people that we're reaching. Sometimes we can focus so much on the, the few that are negative and belittling and breaking us that we forget about the hundreds of thousands of people that are encouraging our fruit, that are encouraging what we're producing, and that are really being touched and moved by our gifts. And so... I think that it's very important that you concentrate on your content and that you make sure that your content is rich and that that when you've been given an opportunity to reach the masses, that you reach them with a message of good fruit and that they will come and they will follow you after they have seen that what you produce is good. I think our expectancy of people attaching to our message may be premature simply because we haven't put a lot of due diligence into how we produce a thing, how we produce our fruit, how our page looks, how our pictures look, what words of encouragement are we giving, what kind of wisdom are we giving, are we so concerned about about the number that we're forgetting about the quality of our content. And so I think that it's very, very important that we do that and that we do it in, in spirit and in truth and in order. And so um, that's just one of the, the many things that I feel that in social media can hinder your message is when you focus so much on people grabbing and clicking like that you forget about your content and what you're producing. And so um, that that's what my message would be for you today, that you may not have, you know, 30,000 likes. You may not have, you know, millions of followers on Instagram or, or anything like all of the other celebrities that you may see. But when you look at their content, are they representing some Something that you would want to represent? Are they getting the followers that you would want to have? A lot of us get envious of other people getting a lot of followers when they're not even the followers that we would want to follow us. And so I think that that's very important. You have to protect your baby. When you when you have produced good fruit and you know that it's good content and you know that it has good quality, you have to protect it and you have to maintain it and you have to make sure that people don't walk all over it or taint it. Um, I think that's a lot of why, you know, like Beyonce didn't show pictures or videos of Blue Ivy until she was like a year old because you have to protect your fruit for the five hundreds of thousands of people that would think that she's lovely and beautiful and, and that the sun rises and sets on her, there are other thousands of people who will talk about her hair, will talk about her clothes, will talk about her appearance. And people don't want to hear that about their children. You know, this is their fruit. It's something that they've produced, that they worked hard to produce. And so we have to be careful. We have to be careful how we handle fruit that's been given to us, but we also have to be careful on how we give fruit. And so I wanted you all to, to consider that, that it's easy to be a basher, but what have you built? You know, what, what are you building? What encouragement are you giving? What word of wisdom have you given today? How have you uplifted someone? Or have you been so busy tearing down what you don't like about a person that you have not get, been given an opportunity to uplift them, to encourage them? Yes, we are all human. Yes, we are all imperfect beings, but there is a way that we should give our fruit. There is a way that we should, should show our harvest. And there is a way that we should represent what God gives us and what he has given us to give. And so um, don't worry about the followers. Don't worry about your fans. Don't worry about your likes. Make sure that when God gives you the ability to reach the masses, that you are studied approved, that you have good content, that you have good quality, and that you are grounded in good, fertile 
ground. And so um, I would pray for you today that God um, make you fertile, that God make you wise over your fruit, and that you do not manipulate uh, the fruit that's been given to you to, to put yourself in a world of you, but to use your fruit for good and to allow God to use it as well so that what the enemy meant for evil, God can turn around for good. And so um, let's pray. God, I thank you. I thank you that one of your first commands was that we be fruitful and multiply. So you have already placed it inside of us to be fruitful and to grow in purpose and power. You said that there are rivers of a living water inside of us, oh God. So I pray that you would tap into those rivers, that you would pour them out of us, God, that you would allow us to be encouragers, to be builders of each other, to, to be teachers, to the teachable, that you would allow us to speak wisdom and honor, and that you would give us the direction on how to represent you in the best light. God, do not allow us to show you in any light other than a light of glory, a light of honor, a light of royalty. God, I pray God that you would not allow us to speak ill of you, that you would not allow us to place your name on something that you would not represent. God, I pray God that you would allow us to be Anybody good possessors of the land, that you would allow us to be fertile and faithful in the possession of this land. God, do not allow us to show people the wrong way, God, but allow us to lead them in the right way and perfect us in our imperfection, God. Grow us in, in our areas that need to be grown, God. Give us, give us a heart for the people. Give us a compassion to be able to command that in which we want to conceive, God. I thank you that you will be the light that shines in every dark place. I thank you that you will be the fruit that grows in every fertile ground. I thank you that you will remove all lack of harvest, God, and that you will make us good possessors, good producers, and good fertile, grounded people. And we thank you for all that you're going to do and all you have already done. In your son Jesus' name we pray, believing these things are so. It is so, and so it is. Amen. Remember, whatever your fruit may be, make it great.